While children at an early age are preoccupied with choosing hobbies among sports, art and music that they would like to do, there are children who decide to pursue hobbies of another kind, such as killing, stealing and rape. For example, 10 youngest criminals in history. Here are the 10 youngest criminals in history, and the reasons why they committed their crimes. Harvey Miguel Robinson 17 years old. Child Harvey Robinson in Pennsylvania, USA, is one of the youngest serial killers to be on the death penalty list. He was 17 years old when he committed his first murder in 1992. According to Listverse, Robinson was arrested by police on the 31st of July, 1993, after he raped and failed to kill Denise Kelly on the 28th of June of the same year. Police caught him after Kali bit his arm during the initial attack before fleeing. Then police matched the bite marks to Harvey to form incriminating evidence. But surprisingly later, the investigations led to Robinson's confession of raping and killing three other girls. Joanne Burgett, a 29-year-old nurse's aide, raped and murdered in August, 1992. Charlotte Schmua, a 15-year-old distribution worker for the morning call who was raped and murdered in June, 1993. Jessica Fortney, 47-year-old grandmother, raped and murdered in July, 1993. After Robinson admitted those cases, the judiciary convicted him in 1994 and sentenced him to death in all cases, and in April, 1995, the judiciary again convicted him of raping a five-year old girl and sentenced him to an additional 57 years in prison. In April 2006, Harvey's sentence was revised to life imprisonment for the murder of Joan Burgett, as he was only 17 years old at the time. He is still awaiting execution until 2021. Craig Price, 13 years old. Craig Chandler Price, of Rhode Island was just 13 when he committed his first murder by stabbing his neighbor, Rebecca Spencer, 27, with 58 stab wounds. He is still incarcerated in a Florida state prison today. At first, Price wasn't a suspect, but he later confessed to his crime when police arrested him two years later for killing three other neighbors while high on drugs in 1989. According to Criminaminds, the victims were Joan Heaton, 39, and her daughters, Jennifer and Melissa, ages 10 and 8, who stabbed them more than 30 times with deep wounds until the knives came off. Craig showed no signs of remorse for killing the Heatons, even imitating the sounds of their cries. Because of his young age, Craig Price was unable to appear in court and was sent to a juvenile correctional institution called the Rhode Island Training School. However, in 2004 Craig moved from Rhode Island to Florida due to his violent tendencies, and was denied parole in March 2009. Although the judiciary set his release date in May 2020, he was sentenced to an additional 25 years in prison on the 18th of January 2019, for stabbing inmate Joshua Davis on the 4th of April 2017. Jasmine Richardson 12 years old. At the age of 12, Jasmine Richardson began dating 27-year-old Jeremy Steenk after meeting her at a rock concert in 2006, in Alberta, Canada, but her parents rejected the relationship due to the age difference between them. So Jasmine and her boyfriend decided to kill her parents, Mark and Deborah, and her only 8-year-old brother, Jacob, after their interrogation. Jeremy admitted to the police that Jasmine wanted her parents to die so she could be free from them. Jasmine Richardson stabbed her brother Jacob in the neck. On the 9th of July, 2007, the court found Jasmine and Jeremy guilty of three counts of first-degree murder, which sentenced Jeremy to life imprisonment and Jasmine to 10 years in prison because she is under 14. Mary Bell, 10 years old. Mary Bell lived the first years of her life in abject poverty and with a mother who tried to kill her multiple times, according to Film Daily, which may have been the reason she walked down this dark path when she was 10 years old. On the 25th of May, 1968, Mary stole a four-year-old boy, Martin Brown, 
into an abandoned house in Newcastle, UK, and strangled him. Although she later left written notes confessing her crime, the police did not take her seriously. Then, two months later, Mary was killed again, leaving the body of three-year-old Brian Howe in the same area as her first victim Brown. But this time, the police caught her. In December, 1968, the court convicted her of manslaughter, extenuating it on grounds of low criminal responsibility, as a court-appointed psychiatrist diagnosed her with classic symptoms of psychopathy. Police reports indicated that they carved an M into the body of their victim, HAU, and mutilated it, including cutting off his genitals with scissors. Bell spent 12 years in prison, was released in 1980, was only 23 at the time, and now lives with her daughter with a new identity. Joseph McVeigh, 10 years old, on the 2nd of January, 2011, at his home in the US state of Ohio, Joseph McVeigh, who was 10 at the time, shot his mother, Deborah McVeigh, who was 46 years old, his sister, Shauna McVeigh, says that Joseph was so tired of the constant quarrel with his mother that he took a 22 caliber long rifle and shot her. Then he went to his neighbor's house, called 911, and told them, I shot my mother, I shot her with a gun. Joseph pleaded guilty to the crime on the same day as the incident, but the court found him ineligible to stand trial until early 2013, when a juvenile court sentenced him to prison at age 13.